Hey, it's Funkster here. If you've got 20 pound dumbbells, if you've got 21 minutes, I'm gonna take you through a killer total body metabolic workout. Are you ready? Let's get going. Ah. Hey guys, Funk Roberts from over40alpha.com and today I am excited to bring you a 21 minute total body metabolic resistance training workout uh, which basically means we are going to combine weight training or resistance training with metabolic training or a HIIT style workout so that we can build lean muscle while we burn fat. But here's the caveat. We're only gonna be using a pair of 20 pound dumbbells. And you may be asking Funk, what are you doing? You're just, you're, you're digressing, you're degressing, you're, you're moving lighter and lighter and lighter. But no, that's not what it is. The other day I had two different people send me messages asking for a workout only using dumbbells that are 20 pounds. One travels a lot and every time he goes to a hotel, they only generally have 20 pound dumbbells or, or something lower or maybe just 25s. But he wanted a workout where he could just take one pair of dumbbells and do the entire workout. And the other person was just getting back in to the dating world. They had just gone through a divorce. They had an old set of 20 pound dumbbells and they knew that they wanted to get back into shape so that they can look good while they're going out and they're dating. So hey man, I'm going to hook my boys up, my brothers up, these guys up with a workout. So today we're gonna do seven exercises. Each exercise we're doing 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds rest right uh, for three rounds before moving on to the next exercise now the thing is how can we make this tougher well we're going to use combo movements so a lot of these exercises we're going to combine different movements to get the best out of the workout all right so grab your 20 pound dumbbells that's all i want you guys to use because i want you to see what type of workout you can get with 20 pounds and i'm going to take you through each exercise we're going to do a follow along real-time workout so if you guys are ready just get ready. <laughs> so the first exercise that we're going to be doing and throughout the workout you will see the exercises come up in a box before we do that next round. We're going to be doing dumbbell squats to reverse lunge. Okay, so one squat or two squats to reverse lunge. Uh, I will make my mind up as we go through, but there'll be suitcase squats to suitcase reverse lunge. We're going to start off with uh, 20 pounds. That's all we have. I've got the timer here and uh, we're going to grab your dumbbells. We're about to start. Five, four, three, two, one, here we go. All right, so we're gonna start off with a squat and reverse lunge, so both sides. So first, the first round of this, let's go to the side. It's important that we, we're just getting a feel for the exercises, right, because we're combining movements. So making sure with the squat, your head is up. So you should be facing me, right? Do not bend over. Step back, core's gotta be tight, push forward. So down into a squat, knees pointed up. Step back with the knee. Remember, keep that front knee pointed out. Good. Good work. All right, so we're gonna be moving fast through each exercise. Not a lot of rest time. So as you can see, heart rate starts to increase a little bit when you add load and the combination movements, all right? Remember, we're trying to focus on keeping our body tall, right? Good. Step back, step back, pushing off of that front leg. Heels on the ground during the squat. Good. Doesn't matter what foot you go back with first. We're, we're, we're hitting the lower body here. Glutes, quads, hammies. Core, gotta keep that core tight throughout the movement. Good. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Starting to feel this already. Now, I did do a workout prior, but as you can see with the combination of movements, it can get a little tricky and your body's having to work harder because also your mind has to focus on the movements. Are you ready? Last round. Last time we're doing this, I'll go to the side here. So you can see we're sitting back into our heels with the squat. Good. Step back into the lunge. 
core's gotta be tight. Step back with the right leg. Make sure you're engaging the glutes. The glutes. Boom. Boom. Wow. Back. Boom. Back. Push off. Good work. Keep going. Nice work. All right, let's get to the ground. We're gonna be doing chest. So, now, it's gonna be a little light. So we're gonna do three chest press, two chest flies, okay? And again, speed, tempo, dictates everything. One, two, three, and then wide. One, two. Turn, 45 degrees, where your elbow should be. Let's go for control, but speed. One, two, three, turn. One, two, speed now. One, two, three, turn. Go nice and wide, but control. Good, so we're hitting that chest, pecs, good work. So, obviously, we're not gonna get a ton of size with the 20s, but I have something for you. On our press, I want you to turn, slightly rotate the dumbbells so that you rotate them every time you go up. Same with when you're doing the flat, sorry, the fly. So up, rotate. Down, up, rotate. Exhale on the way up. Now you're here. Rotate to the top, slight rotation. Good. So we're adding us a slight rotation. Engaging more of the chest. And on the wide flies, we're still rotating. Good. The only thing that should be touching in the dumbbells is the bottom of the dumbbells at the top of the movement. Good. Control that dumbbell. Good work. So again, you can see when we're rotating, you can feel more muscles being used. All right. Now we're gonna do, let's try to go a little bit faster again, because now we have some fatigue, right? Pre-fatigue. So, try to go for speed. One, two, three. Now, now you can still do that rotation if you're feeling it. You can rotate, 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 and then, oh, nice and low. Oh, good. The rotation really makes a difference because you're now continuing. To stimulate the muscles at the top of the movement. You're not just stopping at the top of the press. Oh, a bit of stimulation. Wow, that was uh, solid. All right, let's hit up <laughs> the row. All right, ma'am. Okay, we're gonna do row variations. Regular row, <laughs> wide row, and then inverted row. One, two, and turn. Three, one, two, three. So we're hitting back, Lats, we're all back, but different parts of the back. Roll up by your heels, sorry, by your hips, man. Good. So, back straight. Roll back by your hips. Let's go two, two wide. One, two, and then two inverted. All right. Didn't get a lot of time to explain that to you guys, so making sure the back is straight. When we're doing the wide row, you're gonna make sure those elbows are pointed to the side because we do wanna go a little bit wide. It's gonna hit the rear delts as well. And then of course, inverted, you're rotating in and keeping the elbows tight to the body. And when we're rowing up with the rows, we're rowing back by the hips, not straight up and down. So here we go. Back straight, one, two, wide. One, two, inverted. 
One, two, good. One, two, wide. Invert. Good. The whole time, your back stays straight. So you have to be very focused on only using the back muscles with each exercise, right? We don't want to move because we're only using 20 pounds. So we want to get the most out of the 20 pounds. So keeping that back still, as still as possible, straight as possible, that will force the muscles that are supposed to be used, the pulling muscles, to do all the work, which makes the 20 pound dumbbell heavier. Okay, back straight. Roll back by the hips. One, two, rotate, three, good. Try to keep those shoulders back. One, two, inverted row. One, two, good. Elbows tight to the body. Elbows wide. Elbows tight to the body. Keep that core tight. Oh man. I'm so happy that's over. But man, how are you doing? Because this should be tough right now, okay? This should be tough. We're going into lying tricep extensions, okay? Skull crushers with 20 pound dumbbells. Now, if these are too heavy, then you can use one, but let's go into regular skull crushers. Elbows pointed forward. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a variation here. So two regular squat, uh, skull crushers, one, two, now I want you to start back, two extensions. One, two, over the head. One, two, back. One, oh, man, okay. So let's explain that. What we were doing is we were starting back with the lying extensions. So our range of motion is not gonna be that much, but because we're starting back here, there's a lot more of the tricep that needs to be worked. And the skull crushers, of course, are just directly over the head, coming down by the forehead. Back, forward, I'm feeling this right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh. Breaking down. So, what we can do is take a single dumbbell. One, two, do three. And then come up right by the skull. One, right by your forehead. Two, right by the forehead. Three. Oh, man. So, those chest presses we're also fatiguing our triceps a bit, right? So by the time we get to an exercise like this, where we're using single dumbbells to get this, this done, you'll feel a little bit, depending on how much muscle you have already, right? If you have a lot of muscle, you've probably been pumping a lot of blood into that muscle already, muscle group. If you don't, then you may still be feeling good. All right, here we go. Right by the forehead, but really keep those elbows pointed out. Be very strict. All right, and just focus on the triceps doing the movement. Right there, oh yeah. One, two, I'm doing three. Holding it, moving it back. One, two. Oh, Michael. Whoa, killer. All right, kill a gorilla. All right, we're gonna do curls for the girls. My boy Brian Curl in the house. We're gonna do hammer, two hammers, two regular. Now, don't get it twisted. Shoulders back, elbows tight. One, two, one, two, one. 
two, two hammers. One, two, you could even do this. One, two, yeah, let's do that. One, two hammers, two double curls. Again, nothing's moving. One, elbows tight to the body. Ah, squeeze those glutes. Oh man. Just make sure this is still on point. It certainly is. So this next round, we're gonna do singles. Man, so 20 pounds, you know, you can get a good workout in. <laughs> Obviously, you wanna increase the weight once you get to points where you, you know, you're not feeling anything, right? We always wanna be building muscle. Here we go. Single, single, good. Single, single. Keep those elbows tight to the body. That is the key. And shoulders back. Don't round your shoulders. Don't bend over. Try to stay nice and tall. Squeeze the glutes. Send a message to the brain that you're solid. Ah. Mm. I had some water available. Last round after this. I may just do a, like a free for all, you know? Some hammers, some curls. Here we go. So there's a curl, there's a curl, double curl. There's a hammer, there's a hammer. Double. Ah. Double. Oh. Mm, 20 pounds, eh? Mm. Oh. It's tough. It's tough. Oh. All right. Now, we got the shoulder. We're gonna do shoulder raises. We're gonna do single sided shoulder raise. Side shoulder raise, we're only gonna use one side. So, we're gonna bust this out. Two, three, four, five. Other side, if I can. One, ooh. Three, four, five. Try for four. One, two, three, four. Good. Four. One. So slight bend in the arms. Oh. Those are generally much heavier than I would ever do because with shoulder raises and any shoulder exercise other than presses, depending on how, how much stability you have and how healthy your shoulders are, you don't want to go too crazy because once you injure the shoulder, that's it, man. Okay, let's do front raises, same way. Let's go front. One, two, three, four. I'm going to do fours. You want to bring that dumbbell Eye level. One, two. Keep the elbows slightly bent. Three, four. Now, do not break your wrist. Okay, not like this. Keep the wrist straight, in line with your arm. Two. The entire time. If you can't keep your wrist straight, and this is too heavy, and I'll show you what to do with that exercise. You just do this. Because you when you break your wrist doing this or doing this, that's what break, that's what starts the elbow pain, right? Breaks down the shoulder. We want to ensure that the wrist is straight. So let's do a medley now. One, 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 one. Let's go. Side, boom. Front. Switch. Front. Side. 
side. Front, front, don't use momentum. Side, Ooh. focus on the entire arm. Uh, sorry, the entire shoulder doing the work. Don't break that wrist. See, I almost broke it. Uh, you also gotta keep your core tight. Gee willikers, all right. Last exercise, yes, I did say gee willikers. I know there's someone watching, did he just say G Willikers? I think he just said G Willikers. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be loaded, slight crunches as a finisher, three rounds. You know, we're almost done, we got 21 minutes. We're gonna hold with our elbows tight. And we're just gonna keep the, the shoulders off the ground. And we're just gonna keep the legs same. Now you can hold all the way up. And don't move your arm. Like, don't move the... Keep the arm straight, or as straight as you can, and just lift with your abs. Good. So all you're doing is you're keeping this up, and you're just, everything's moving as one. So everything moves as one. One. We're not bringing it back down. So we're not going up and then down. Up, we're not pressing, okay? So that's one version. Other version is keeping it close to the body. So all you can do, that's okay. Slight crunch. Keep the, keep the shoulders off the ground. We're just basically keeping loaded tension on the abs. Push your lower back into the ground the entire time. The entire time. Okay. The only thing that should be moving are the abs, <laughs> upper abs, doing the movement. Last round, you choose. All right, here we go. Let's press up. Ooh. Remember, lower abs, lower back on the ground. I want to pump out more. Oh. Exhale on the way up. Keep going, guys. Oh. Time. Wow. There you go. A perfect. Great. 21 minutes. <laughs> I can't even get off the ground. 21 minute workout. Give me some nuts, man. That was awesome. That was so much fun. You can see that now with 20, with 20 pounds, you can get a fantastic workout. Total body. We, it's, we use a metabolic protocol. We use combo movements. So we're hitting more multi-limb exercises, compound exercises. We're doing more exercise. We're hitting tons more muscle, tons more. A lot more muscle than we used, than we would before. Sorry guys, I'm tired. All right, we just finished the workout. It was great. Use this workout whenever you want to, when you're traveling, when you're at home, or whenever you have 20 pound dumbbells. Like this, share this, subscribe, put your notifications on so you don't miss another workout. I'm the Funkster, I love you, and I'll see you in the next workout. Get it done. Hey, it's Funk Roberts here. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you liked it. In fact, I hope you loved it. And I hope you learned something from that video. Please show me some love and like this, share this, leave your comments below because you know I love that those comments. And if you like that workout, click that button right there and it'll take you to the next workout. I'm the Funkster and I'll see you on the other side. Get it done. Ah.